Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I want to talk about my bench top drill press. Uh, I've got a Ryobi 12 inch drill press here, and I purchased this several years ago, and it served me well. This has been a great uh, drill press, very inexpensive. I think I paid $129 for this, and that's absolutely perfect for what I need. I couldn't really afford to spend a whole bunch of money on a, on a full length uh, drill press, and I thought this would work good, especially if you're looking to save some space in your shop like I am. But just a couple slight little modifications can make it a whole lot better. And let me just tell you a couple of things that I've done to make this a lot better for me. First, I changed, or I didn't change, but I, I added this table to the top of the existing round table that it comes with. The round table it comes with is about eight inches in diameter, and that's fine and, and everything is good, but I, I found it very difficult for me to clamp things to it because the way that this table is fabricated, it's got a lot of uh, arms and stuff underneath and you're unable to clamp to. So I just made this, this wood tabletop for it for a couple of reasons. One, to give me a nice flat surface to. Another, so it gives me plenty of clamping space so I can clamp things uh, nice and secure to it. But also, uh, to, to provide access for my Yoast drill press vise right here. And you can see how that fits right on here and it's centered right over uh, the chuck and it allows me to move this in several different locations to clamp things down. So that's that's one modification and you can change this to any, this just happens to be a piece of MDF that I had scrap laying around my shop. This could be any size that you choose it to be or any size that works well for you. Now I recessed, I drilled and recessed some holes in here to allow the bolting to go through into the existing table to keep this for a nice flat surface right here. The other thing is I changed out the chuck. Uh, the chuck this came with was fine, uh, but like I said, this is several years old and the mechanism here was stripped out and I was, a I was having a hard time locking things into place. So a very inexpensive chuck. I think this was $20 and that really works well. It's just like brand new again. And then I made this oil can uh, holder for, for the drill press. Now, you know, this is just an added convenience, but hey, it really worked well for me. I do have a video on this. And so just a, a few slight little modifications to your inexpensive bench top drill press, and it makes it for that much of a better tool. I hope this is some good advice for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.